Hello, listeners. This is Get to Know an RSO on 89.1 Wider FM. My name is Dan, and today I have a special guest from the Western Track and Field Club. Hello, Bill. How are you doing? How's your day? Hey, been? I'm doing all right, Dan. How are you doing today? Thanks for having me on. Absolutely stellarly. Um, so I guess uh, I'd like to introduce you. Well, I've already introduced you, but I'd like the people at home to get to know you just a little bit better. Um, can you tell Can you tell the audience a little bit more about what you do uh, on the track team? Absolutely. I was gonna say if it's if it's everything I do, how much time <laughs> do you have? But on the on the team, um, currently I function as the uh, president and sort of the coaching director for our organization. Um, as of last year, of course, you know, this is 20, so back in 2021, 2022, we got started. Um, it was just myself and a couple other people with a vision to make something happen. And now, you know, I'm here and I'm, I'm still with those same people managing a group of what we hope to see about, you know, greater than 30 to 35 people um, out competing in all events, running, sprinting, jumps, throws, um, I help to direct our athletes, our student athletes to, you know, perform not only in their various events on the track, but also to try to be successful outside of it. Um, as one of our key elements, I, as a leader, try to hammer home the notion of, of competition and community. So while it's important that we all come out, we perform well, meet the standards we want to meet and continue to, to push forward as a competitive organization, that we have a, a, a culture of community and that we're also giving back to not only the campus community but the greater Kalamazoo community beyond it with respect to track and field and youth athletics. Awesome and just to clarify um, I don't I want to make sure I'm not getting this wrong you are the president of the Western Track and Field Club is that correct? That's what the business cards say yeah Dan that's what they tell me. All right all right um, and uh, what do you study at Western Michigan? Uh, currently, I'm a pre-med student in exercise science. I'm going into my senior year as of today, um, and I sort of work around, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of how the body performs in training and competition and how to, how to get people to their uh, optimum standard of either health or, or athletic performance. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So, so it kind of goes hand in hand and, in, in um, you participating in this track and uh, the track and field club, or um, I guess you you founded the club, didn't you, with um, some other people? Yeah. So obviously they're, they're not on the interview with us today, unfortunately. But uh, another guy named Nick Freeze. It was just uh, him and I a couple years ago, and there's no men's team here, unfortunately. Um, and him and I, we, we talked about the notion of how our coaches and how this sport had impacted us, and we kind of just said, you know, whatever, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. So. We took some time, planned it out, and then a few days later, or well, it felt like a few days, it was probably more like a couple <laughs> months, in the grand scheme of the team, a few days later, we actually happened upon the people who would become uh, our promoter and our vice president, that's Alexa Hempel and Josh Van Slambrook, who've been just absolutely amazing teammates, uh, phenomenal resources and leadership, um, and they've helped to bring uh, all other aspects of our athletes forward. Josh helped with distance running and promoting our organization with his knowledge of club sports, and Alexa's got a great mind for, for problem solving and, and leadership. And she's actually been a strong advocate for uh, our pole vault squad, which actually I will, I will plug. We are the only club that I'm aware of currently at the collegiate level that does offer pole vault to its athletes. Awesome. Awesome. That's really great to hear, especially at Western yeah. Michigan. Um, sorry to kind of swap back between you, you and uh, what you do at the club, but I, I am a little interested in kind of, um, if you could tell me a little bit more of just what you like to do in your free time when you're not uh, at the club, uh, at the, uh, sorry, at the track and field club, I should say. When I'm, uh, <laughs> when I'm not working for the team. Um, well, it must be one of my favorite things to do because I sure do a lot of it. Um, I uh, I do, it's on my mind a lot. I Honestly, it's just because it's, it's about the needs of, you know, other students who are more than just people. They're, they're my teammates, so I try to look out for them. I try to make sure that everything is going well. So a lot of what I do with my spare time is related to the club. Um, you know, currently I'm I'm holding down a, a job as a pre-med student in healthcare. So I, outside of this, I'm I'm working in healthcare um, and trying to maintain studies in a, a solid trajectory to hopefully be a an applicant for medical schools. It's a, attractive for offers. So mm -hmm. you know, of course, spend time with my family, spend time with my teammates, do things like that. 
enjoy enjoy the summer when it's here and the winter when the summer's gone. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, so can you tell me a little bit more about what the Western Track and Field Club does and why do they do it? Absolutely. So it's right there in the name. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> everyone, at least in my experience, what I said, understood. Everyone has an understanding of what track and field is, but people sometimes get confused and think it's just running. It might surprise some of the listeners out there that we actually have a substantial amount of our team that is is involved in throwing. Um, Dan, I, I will say Dan's actually involved in our program as well. Um, mm-hmm. he's, he's got it and my brother and all sorts of people that come out. And so we do have lots of people that they throw shot and discus hammer. We have pole vaulters, um, but we we do things a little differently than NCAA students do. So instead of being involved in, uh, you know, collegiate sports in a standard sense, we are club athletes. So we compete against, uh, well, first of all, actually smaller D3 and D4 NCAA schools, as well as other club organizations involved in either club running or track and field like we are. We go around to uh, when we're competing, we travel to meets around sort of the greater Michigan area. I think we go as far west as Chicagoland. And so far, about as far east as Saginaw Valley. So I try not to take you guys away from home too much. Um, but uh, outside of the expectations of competition, we do also hold our athletes to a, an idea. And it's true. It's not It's not really a gimmick. It is truly part of the mission of, of helping others outside of what we do. So we are involved in the community and fundraising. Last year, we, we had to two or three separate meets for high schools just to provide them with staffing needs because... MHSA, that's Michigan uh, High School Athletics, those schools are in constant need for people to come out and just, you know, work timing or run the clock or do some stuff like that. So we try to be a resource that other programs and especially younger student athletes can rely on to continue to cultivate their interest and their personal successes in our sport that we we all love. That's great to hear. I love, you know, I will say, I should say, um, you know, I am involved in the club. Um, and I do, uh, see a lot of, um, volunteering that happens and it is great to see that just from any, any club organization in general. Um, and well, what, what drew you to track and field or what, what made you want to do track and field initially? Did you start in high school or did you, um, you know, just suddenly in college, you were like, oh, I really need to start track and field, especially since there was no men's uh, team at the time um, before you helped create it. Um, that's a great question. Um, so again, kind of like what I do, it's a it's a longer answer. I uh, well, I'm not very coordinated, so I've always done running, but I'm a terrible distance runner. I did cross country in high school, really not great at it. Um, and then I, I picked up track and about... I think early high school, early on. And immediately I, I was put into the 400 meter, which any listeners out there, any other, any other former track runners or current track runners will hopefully have some sympathy for me. Uh, But it was a race I took to, and it's because it's, it's so challenging that feeling of, you know, you, you're in an all out sprint, but you're also in a, in a, an almost like a knife fight at times with yourself, with the people around you, just trying to pull through. Um, It's a very challenging event. And I was challenged by this sport. And not only that, but it is so diverse in its talent pool from people who do a 60 meter all the way up to a 6K. You know, there is truly something that anybody can do. And it, it draws on a lot of people. And I think the key underlying theme of the sport that resonates with me is just discipline and determination, which are some, some traits or some characteristics in people that when you train, you can, you can really reach for a lot. Like you, you asked me about schooling earlier. My schooling has up to this point has been difficult and it's only supposed to get worse from here. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, But through my discipline in sports and through honestly, some of the disciplines that have been instilled to me by my coaches in high school and and that I've had to train in myself to be able to do such a uh, honestly, a, a really exciting and energizing, but still rigorous sport has helped me to, uh, I guess, get a better mental edge. On the schooling I do, it's helped me to be a. It's made this sport has made me a better person, and I truly do feel like it has. And so if I have that the ability to pass that experience on to others, whether it's the experience of camaraderie on a team 
or even the individual experience of personal success in an event or, you know, something more than like, you know, I, getting, being a, a catalyst for someone to grow as another, as an individual. Um, it's truly an honor for me to be able to provide that for people. So I didn't set out with the goal of, you know, I want to do all these things. I just set out because I, it was something that I needed in my life. It was something that I missed. And uh, at first, you know, Western great school, but they said, okay, you want to do this? You want to get people out to go, to go run? Okay, good luck, kid. And I think a lot of people thought this idea would fail. And so far, you know, we've been, we've been very fortunate with the success we've seen, because there's a lot of people out there that share the same beliefs I do and the same passion that I do for this thing. And uh, we've, we've got a lot of energy. We've got a lot of people involved in it that have helped to push not only my ideas, but their own, their own perspectives forward as well. Awesome. Yeah, you do. <clears throat> you're very passionate about Western track and, or just track and field in general, I can see. Um, yeah, it might be a long audio bite. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are all good. You are all good. Um, well, on top of, uh, you know, leading from passion, um, what would you say to anyone who is interested in participating in your RSO? Join. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I would say join Western Track and Field Club. I would say join WTF. I would uh, I would say, you know, sometimes in college, there's things like other sports or, or other organizations that seem exclusive. And this truly is not. Um, you can be all you can be and you can be do everything you want to on your own schedule, on your own time. Um, you, you truly get to push yourself. So if you have any doubt, purge it. If you've got even a little bit of belief or a little bit of interest, chase it. Because, you know, if I hadn't chased my own fleeting thought about, well, what if I did run track here at Western? I wouldn't have a team of 30 amazing people that, that I try to work for every single day. So chase down what you want to do. It sounds, it sounds hokey. It sounds cheesy, but, you know, follow up on it. Join. Do it. Do it right now. You done it yet? You know, so. <laughs> oh, man. Well, um, is there, uh, can you give us like an Instagram or a website um, that you would be that you'd be able to share where people can learn more or reach out to to join if they're interested? Absolutely. So our social media is going to be at Western TF Club, just like that. And then our email for any interested listeners or people with questions out there would be Western TF Club at gmail.com. And then all those emails will either come to me or my vice president. One of us will get back to you. I will say because Wider's got such a well, uh, wide, that, that worked out, <laughs> such, a, <laughs> such a broad base. Um, if there are any former track alumni, um, especially anybody from the old men's teams, not saying that they're old men now, but anybody from the men's <laughs> teams back in the day that want to reach out and reconnect with, with student athletes who are trying to uphold that legacy that they set, who've got respect for what they did, please reach out. We would love to hear from you and we'd love for you to be engaged with our organization. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, you can also learn more information about the Western Track and Field Club. Uh, if you go to widrfm.org, um, this will be the Western Track and Field episode under the original series tab for Get to Know an RSO. Um, that should contain their website and uh, social medias, potentially any other information that may be relevant. Um, thank you for coming on to the this episode, Bill. It was nice having you. It was Absolutely, good to hear man. more about Western Track and Field. Of course. Thank you for having me. Thank you for letting me speak to everybody. Appreciate everyone for listening. Yeah, no problem. And thank you for listening to this episode of Get to Know an RSO and come back soon to learn about more ways to get involved on campus at Western Michigan University.